Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. It's going to be an awesome journey. I just want to give you a heads up before the video starts. This video is an intro and it doesn't move quite as fast as the videos are going to later in the series. So if it seems a little slow, you know, give it a shot. There's a lot more coming. It's just to make sure everybody understands the idea, the struggles that are kind of in front of us and sort of the headspace so that when I move on throughout it, you kind of know what the plan is and I don't have to keep repeating what we're doing. So it's a, it's a longer video. It's a little bit slower moving, but it gets a lot faster as the series goes on. So thanks. Hey, so uh, my name is Ryan Agri and I am just kind of a, I don't know what tinkerer, inventor, what, I don't know what you'd call it, just like to play around with things. Uh, I've actually worked on building a product in the past and it's actually a real fun process and I noticed on YouTube there's sort of product design journeys but nothing really to take a true product that's going to exist and walk people through the whole design process. Um, I'll be doing it quite differently because I've kind of taught myself I don't have engineers I you know teach yourself to use CAD I use paint like you see here I'm trying to do it on a budget like a lot of people are and so just about all the things I do cost next to no money which I think will make it really enjoyable for people to watch because it's very attainable to do something like this it's a fair bit of work you have to learn how to do a lot of things but this is a very doable thing that I want to show people and I think it'd be a real fun adventure for people to be part of so that's kind of the reason I'm thinking of doing this particular video series. Um, I actually don't know what's going to happen. I think that part's going to make it really interesting because it's going to be a very genuine video series. I have an idea and I want to see if I can make the idea exist. It's pretty ambitious because it doesn't really exist already, but I think it'd be real interesting for people to be part of the journey. I love watching YouTube videos of people doing DIYs. I love Minecraft ones where I watch people come up with a concept and then like Hermitcraft or something like that. I love that kind of stuff. So I think it might be something that people find very interesting. So this is sort of just a little bit of an intro into what the idea is, what we're going to be working on, and uh, hopefully I can keep everybody going throughout the entire journey because this is going to be probably quite a while. Designing a product can be pretty tedious and especially the kind of product that I'm looking to design. So I am a hydroponic, what would you call it, enthusiast. And I think that the potential of hydroponics is incredible, but it's underutilized. I've actually already built a product. Um, oh boy, we got a busy, got a busy thing up here. Let's just see here. Let's give a quick. So I've already built a product. And the product that's actually done quite well. Let's call it the Eden Kit. People really like it. It's a plug and play hydroponic garden. There's no refills. Anybody can use it. It's insanely affordable. And we've had really good response from something like this. We did a Kickstarter. We tripled our goal. And this would be kind of more of a look on the dimensions of the product. But one of the feedbacks that we continually keep getting is that people want to see something that's a little bit smaller. Perhaps something that you can put on a countertop. Now, I'm not a fan of these countertop designs, and the biggest reason I'm not a fan of them is because they tend not to make good products. They look sleek, but they're not that practical. You can't grow very much, they tend not to work well. So I've challenged myself to make one that not only works well, but I want to create it to be modular so that the design stacks, much like you see in this paint drawing. There'll be a lot of MS Paint. <laughs> I'm a simple man. I like to do things simply. So there's uh, MS Paint is nice, really easy to use. And this design that I'm kind of concepting right now, I want to design a small system. And the small system is going to stack on top of itself. Now, these don't exist. And the reason that they don't exist is because this is actually uh, really difficult to do. And I think that's going to make part of this journey a lot more interesting. This is pretty pretty challenging and a lot of the reason is because there's a lot of different parts that have to work together and we have a budget, like a serious budget, right? This needs to be made for a really, really cheap price 
and that means you can't get too technical into your pieces because the cost of manufacturing gets really expensive. I've already learned this from before. So it puts a lot of restrictions on what you can do for a design and it makes the design process kind of tedious but you know it's there's something fun about the blank slate that you get in front of you. So now that I have the blank slate, I kind of know what I want to do, which is going to be a stackable design. I'm just playing through what I see as being one of the uh, one of the potential concepts that I can work with. And long story short, I'm just going to let you guys be part of this journey with me. So let's get started. And I'll do my best to kind of edit it so that it moves through it a lot quicker, obviously, than what we've done here. This is just an intro to get the idea of it. And when I come up to hurdles and stuff, kind of my process, what's going through my mind, and hopefully over time you guys can help me, uh, give me pointers in the right direction. I'll make plenty of mistakes. I'm not an expert at this. I've never went to school for this kind of stuff. I just really want to show people how you can design your own product. I've done it already and take you through the process that I used to, to design it now. So we'll be using Fusion 360. Uh, I was actually able to get this for free. It's an amazing program. The people that do it are amazing. You can get 30 days for free. I was able to get it for free because I'm a startup. Uh, I've played around with it a little bit. I'm no expert on it, but I can do most basic things quite well. Uh, paint, of course. <laughs> and then uh, there will be the other process, which is going to be like, um, you know, looking for manufacturers, looking for grow lights, because we need to find out what we're going to do for grow lights. Um, kind of the background stuff that's not just part of the design, but making something that's affordable that you can manufacture with the design. So, yeah, let's get started. All right. So uh, the original concept that I'm starting up with right now is I want to kind of make... <clears throat> I'm making an NFT system because I actually have a patented cup that utilizes the NFT system. And the struggle that I'm having right now is uh, you, I want to make it so that everything kind of clicks together. So I have a few different things that I have to worry about. One is I have to pump water up so that it can go down each one of the tiers. I also need to drain that water down somehow. I need electrical to run my lights. And I want to have all this pretty sleek and all kind of clip in per se, as simple as I can go. So the design that I'm coming up with right now is going to be sort of a, this is looking at it from the side. So you would have one piece would kind of look like this, right? And then you would stack it. This would be your power, the red, it'd plug in. And then the next lights would plug in kind of like a daisy chain. You would rerun a hose that would come back up. And then I, I kind of want it to go around to where the plants are. And this will make a little bit more sense once we get later on in the design. Um, it's going to go around, which is going to feed the plants. So this is the top view. So, I mean, like you're going to probably have a plant. Oh, come on. You're going to have like a plant here, a plant here, a plant here, a plant here. Probably thinking four. Water's going to go around them. And it's going to go back to this pillar here and then back down I, like this is just the design that I'm playing with right now uh, there's problems with this design but you kind of got to get started or you never really end up doing anything so so we're just gonna play around with this and see kind of what we get Okay, 
bear with me. So this is the uh, cup design that we're going to be working with. Uh, this is the patented cup design. So the idea here is that this utilizes NFT systems in hydroponics. Water flows around here, wicks up, and it causes this uh, the seed in here to germinate automatically without needing to transplant. So that's the whole idea behind it. That's why we're using an NFT system. So I need the water to flow around here. I want it to start here and flow around to here. Um, I don't want to get too caught up in the details of like angling everything. I might have to angle this so that it flows down and drops down a little bit. But I kind of really want it to come out of this beam right here, right? So now that you guys see, it's like I, I don't need the cup. Ah, crap. All right, well, whatever. I don't need the cup here, but it's just to kind of give you an idea why the size is the way that it is. The the challenge is I don't want to get much bigger than two by two, which is the size of this two inches by two inches or 50 mil by 50 mil. And the reason is, is because things start to get pretty expensive once you get over that or else you're going to be doing custom extrusions and stuff. And so your, your, your expenses go up. I want to do something that's rather easy to find two by two piece of tubing isn't going to be incredibly hard to find. And that keeps your manufacturing costs down. But of course I have just under four inches between here and so it kind of looks a little goofy so I don't know maybe one option is to kind of have it hook on to the back and then these trays would just kind of like attach here somehow and then I just don't know exactly how I'm going to attach the water flow if that's the case because water is going to come out of this come back around and then into here um, Maybe I change this so it kind of comes around, sort of like here, but now it's ability for it to kind of tie in, right? It looks a little quirky. I'd, I'd like it to be symmetrical, but it, we wouldn't be able to have it really that symmetrical if that was the case. So, but then at least we can kind of have this piece come in and then this piece come down and still kind of have it on the back there. That looks kind of dorky. But like, once you actually start making stuff in the 3D, you start to find these problems, and that's why it's important to, to actually get the 3D part started. Um, especially when you do everything to scale. The other option is to like cut it here, and then just kind of... Uh, that looks even dumber, to be honest. All right, well, let's try that and play with that and see what that looks like. So, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm sure for people who know how to do CAD, this is just painful to watch. But uh, this is sort of like how the idea is starting to come to be, right? Like, I want the water to be coming from the level above. It's going to come kind of down. It's going to go through. I mean, I obviously got to close this in. It's going to go around, and then it's going to go back down. And that's sort of, sort of the idea right now. Um... And, and this is more concept like obviously you see these like chunks that are cut out it's it's not clean it's not meant to be clean the idea is to get your concept out then you can clean it out um, because more often than not you find a problem so if you obsess about everything being 
professional looking. You don't get anything done. So I'm going to kind of play around with this a little bit more, clean it up just so that it, I can explore whether or not the concept's going to work. Uh, I'd like this to be a separate piece, and I'd like this to be a separate piece. I want this tray, essentially is what it's going to be called. I want it to come out of one piece of vacuum forming because it's way cheaper to make your molds. It's relatively cheap to ma mass produce. This, I don't know yet. It might be steel tubing, uh, it might be plastic tubing. I'd have to kind of explore a little bit. And this is likely going to be a part of this. So it'll just be a cutout in the tubing and this kind of just slides in and locks in somehow. And hopefully the idea is like the water can't go anywhere but in the tray. It can't leave the system, of course. And then it goes around and then it drops down the next one. Um, and then it kind of just locks into place so that your tray is one piece that you manufacture. This is one piece that you manufacture. Everything clips in so that you don't need difficult assembly and you don't have to make a whole bunch of injection mold parts because that's where things start to get really really expensive so you want to design it in such a way that it's really cheap to mass produce that was the biggest lesson i learned from the last one so um yeah i'm going to keep exploring with this and i'll kind of let you guys know how, how it ends up So now we are kind of, I guess, just sort of playing. So the synthesis is going to be one piece. I want to separate it from this tray and see what happens when I start stacking it because lots of times it's hard to tell. See if it's something that would just be cutouts on a piece of steel tubing and something where this just sort of like slides in. Um, yeah, that's kind of the idea. So I'm just going to try and separate it and then I'm going to make a clone of this guy and stack it on top and just kind of see what it looks like. See if it's something that looks like it'd be feasible. Obviously there's going to be a way that we have to attach this to this. Then there's another piece here that's going to be on this side like you see here. This is where the power is ran. Um, at least in this concept, right? And Hurry right on. So, as you can see, we uh, we got it to a point where if it was just a 2x2 two two piece of tubing, it would just be cut out, right? It'd be easy to, to get this to be cut out. There's nothing really fancy, just cutting out maybe at a specific angle here, but I mean, it's something to be very doable. It's not like pieces have to be welded or anything. Um, this is a little weird. Uh, it might be kind of difficult to do with a vacuum form, but I think the concept I like. I like how it drops in, the water will flow, it has nowhere to go but down the next one. Obviously these have to be able to interlock into each other, but next step we're going to stack it and just kind of see how it ends up looking. Um, yeah, see what happens.
I'm liking this. I'm a little concerned about vacuum forming this piece, but I think if I kind of keep this design and then I make it more of a vacuum form, so they just take a sheet, they get it really hot, they put it over a mold, they suck out the air and it kind of takes the shape. And the whole idea behind that is that it's really, really cheap to make your mold. Injection mold for something like this is probably around 40, 50,000. Vacuum form is maybe 2,000. So it really reduces the cost of your startup. So I, I like where this is going. Obviously, uh, we have another design here, which is going to be for our power and then the lights. And believe it or not, I haven't even sourced lights yet. I'm leaning towards these guys right here. So I've, I've reached out to the manufacturer. Um, Alibaba is a fantastic place to find. Actually, I think it specifically was this one. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic place to find pre-made parts and manufacturers. So I use Alibaba all the time. I really like them. And grow lights are pretty complicated. Um, obviously, depending on the size of this determines like the size that this hole has to be and kind of how the electrical run and all of that stuff. So it's not great probably to be designing too too much until I know what the lights are going to be like I've been man I've been dabbling all kinds of lights but it's it's quite challenging especially if you want something that works I can get like a real clean light but it doesn't grow very well and that's kind of what most of the systems out there already have so so yeah that's kind of the concept so far um like I'm thinking the next step is to kind of work on how this is going to get connected. Maybe get the other rod to get an idea on how everything's going to stack and go together. And then kind of work on, I, I want to daisy chain these. It's, it's kind of my idea. So this would plug into this one, would plug into this one. Then you could just stack them indefinitely. This will all be one hose. One hose that does the feed. So I might want to replicate that. And then the drain. And you kind of see how the drain would work. Obviously it goes down and it's going to come back down and do the same thing so i, I want to make sure that there's no possible way it can leak that's a big big one um and yeah i'm, I'm liking sort of how this is obviously we'll kind of clean it up a little bit but i actually generally like the concept of it uh, i like how it kind of sneaks behind it it's pretty clean i like how this is pretty simple piece to manufacture this not as much but I'm not too too worried about that and this looks like it'll be a size that we can play with for a light that's kind of a rectangle-y and we'll keep kind of expanding on this idea so this is part one would be kind of the general design um, getting a concept that seems to work and then working out some of the details I have a 3d printer so then I'll start to 3d print the parts and then see how they work probably like a half scale just to make it possible like this is 16 by 12 so it's 16 long 12 inches wide or 400 by 300 and my bed for my printer's not that big so I'll probably do a scale model of it but more just to see how everything kind of pieces together and yeah I'm liking it I'm liking it. I think there's a lot of potential here it's just how everything connects is going to be the next tricky part like I obviously want this tube to be able to connect to another tube I want these tubes to be sold separate right not sold separate but like separately you get a tube you get another tube they everything clicks in and then you get another tube and it just click 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 you know everything just kind of ties in really cleanly and you can just keep stacking it and you don't need a bunch of parts that's the whole idea I'm not a big fan of like 500 parts for a system it's it's a real to manage that kind of a, um, a supply chain so I'd like to keep it pretty simple I already have the cups designed so then I mean I, I could do like the lids and put the cups in we also have a reservoir that we're gonna have to look at so like all the water is going to be stored in a reservoir there's going to be one and then it just pumps up and goes all the way down the reservoir stays the same that's your base but as you stack it just keeps doing the around, down, around, down, back to the reservoir, back up. And that would be, uh, that'd be the idea. So I'm going to break for lunch and uh, I'll let you guys know what I find. Thanks.